Hi, I'm Phoebe Howard. And I'm Nellie Howard Osi. And we are the designers for Flower Magazine's Palmetto Bluff Show House. We were really excited to take on this project together. It's a mother-daughter design collaboration and we've had so much fun working together. So we drew our inspiration from the natural beauty of Palmetto Bluff and the Low Country. The Low Country is one of the prettiest places on earth if you've ever been there. You know, you've got the marshes, it's so green, it's so lush. We didn't want anything to detract from the spectacular view out of the back of this house, so we chose a fairly neutral interior that relied heavily on texture. The overall aesthetic of the house has a Belgian feeling, so we complemented that with our furniture and fabric choices. And there are natural timbers, stone, plaster finishes throughout that are very complementary to the natural linen schemes that we used in our decorating. We are so excited to bring this project to you and to share our creative vision. So here we are in one of two guest rooms in the house, and I think it's important in a guest room that you don't over accessorize and that you don't under accessorize, that you just have just exactly what your guests want and need, but not too much. So try to anticipate their needs coming in. Obviously we've done this room in all neutrals. It's very neutral. So when you have a palette like this, that's so soft and so monochromatic, it's important to add layers. How do you add layers on a bed? With bedding, with this wonderful bedding from Annie Selkie. This is the Lush Linen Puff. I think this is a remarkable product because it kind of takes the place of a down comforter and a quilt, but it's puffy and soft and it adds such a beautiful layer at the foot of the bed. I paired that with the matching Euro shams just to create a little bit more interest. And then this is the Comfy Cotton Quilt, which is a great, easy to wash, easy to make up quilt, which is a lovely weight. Probably one of the most important foundations of any bedroom is the rug. You want to have one that's soft underfoot. You want it to be the right size so that when you put your feet out in the morning, you hit the rug and not a hardwood floor. And you want it to fit the size of the room, but not take up the whole room so that you see some of the pretty wood floors if you have wood floors in your bedrooms. One of my favorite rugs from Dash and Albert is Willow Sand. I love the combination of colors that it has. It's super durable, doesn't show stains. It's very, very soft underfoot. Always, always, always you have to have a rug pad under your rugs. A lot of people think that you don't, but it's the way to make your rugs A, last longer, and B, stay in place. It's a very important layer. This guest bedroom has three of my favorite Cheryl items in it. The Monroe King bed, the Atlantic side tables, and the Samuels cabinet. What do I like about the Monroe King bed? Well, all designers know that there's no such thing as an upholstered bed with its own dust ruffle that's made by the manufacturer. Well, now there is. This is a fantastic product because it's upholstered onto a platform because as you know, dust ruffles always slip. They need those screws in them. They're never, they're never the right size. They're too long, they're too short. This solves all those decorating problems. Just to mix things up a little bit, and also if you're short on space, it's kind of nice to have a bedside pendant instead of a lamp. This Aquaterra pendant from Curry I think is beautiful. It's got this beautiful seated glass, sort of a greenish tint. I think it's a wonderful option instead of just another table lamp. Since the guest bedrooms are basically mirror images of one another, they're a little different, but basically the same. We didn't want to reinvent the wheel. We wanted to make them a little bit different. So we chose a different bed and bedside tables in here, and we have room for a chair in the corner. And anybody that knows me knows that I love a pick stitch. So we've got pick stitch quilt folded here and pick stitch euros right here. And anybody that knows me also would know that I'm on a one woman war against flanges. So any euro that doesn't have a flange is my friend. This is one of the softest Stash and Albert rugs made. It's cut stripe. They have it in beautiful colors. I've been using it for years. It's a Mrs. Howard favorite. And if you haven't tried it, you really should try it. It's so soft and so luxurious under your feet. Here's a decorator tip for you. Small nightstand, big lamp. It's kind of an optical illusion. And it sort of makes the small nightstand sort of blend into the background. And the big lamp, believe it or not, makes the space look bigger. This is the Cheryl bed from Cheryl. It's spelled C-H-E-R-Y-L, not to be confused with Cheryl, which is spelled S-H-E-R-R-I-L-L. -L. Anyway, this is a wonderful bed. It's a king bed. It's got these wings on it, this beautiful biscuit tufting, which is sort of a modernized version of tufting. And this is a great bed because it's a platform bed. So all you need is a mattress on this and it's just ready to go, super easy to make up. You just tuck it into the sides. I think this is a wonderful bed. In this room, we chose this beautiful off-white linen for the curtains and this fabulous embroidered trim. I think this is just so beautiful. I don't think that Fabric Hut is especially known for their trims, but that's a mistake and a misunderstanding because they are loaded with spectacular trims. You should check it out. Mm -hmm. 